In this video, we are working on the third stage of the Saturn V, along with its J2 engine. This will be page 9 of the assembly instructions. Section F covers the J2 engine, which are the components on the left side. And page 10, section G, is the construction for the third stage of the rocket. So for the J2 engines, we'll start with piece 55 and piece 54. There's two tabs that we have to line up. And this is for the liquid oxygen tank. Next will be piece 56, and there are eight of these, and these represent the helium tanks, and these go into these corresponding holes, and they're press fit. doesn't appear any glue is necessary. same. It's all pretty, pretty straightforward. They sit pretty flush. So you'll know when they're Next is the J2 engine. Pretty simple in that this is a representation of it. And this is the starter tank. This contains liquid hydrogen and helium to get the uh, engine started when it's In zero gravity, I believe. And you'll see it has three, three, these three pins that correspond to here. And the small one matches up with here. Should be a press fit. This is pretty flush. That's in. Doesn't seem to need any glue. So that would be the J2 engine with the liquid oxygen tank, I believe it is. All right. And that is page nine, section F of the assembly instructions. And these are page 10, section G. And we'll see if we can do this in order, part number. So this is part 50. And then there's a clear section. Clear section has these two tabs that fit into corresponding slots. Usually just takes a little bit of a... Push in there, and that's pretty straightforward. And once it's in there, it doesn't come out relatively easily. That was 50 and 51. Now we'll 
will go to 52, which is this. I've been calling them rings, but in the reference guide, they called this a skirt. Since so the lower skirt to stage three. So this is 52, and these are 53. These represent rockets that I believe adjust stage three when it's in orbit, low orbit, I think it is. There's two of those. 52, 53, and then 54, 55, and 56 are these pieces. We'll move to 57. Are these, these are helium tanks. These go into piece 58. And these pieces are keyed. So at the bottom here, it's open. And you can see there's a catch at the top and they're the same. So the open portion fits into piece number 58 in these two tabs in the back. We'll call this the back. It's the viewing clear plastic is in the front. So we'll take the open piece and it slides in pretty easy and then it catches and stops so it only goes so far same thing on this one and that doesn't need any glue either That was 57, piece 58. Next we've got yeah, piece 59, clear plastic piece goes this direction. Again, you've got the tabs that fit into corresponding slots. I found it's easiest if you start one side and then just carefully push in the other side. And that stays in place very well. I've actually already put that in once and trying to get it out was quite challenging so you don't break the tabs inside so that stays in there very well 59 then you got 60 which is the top of the hydrogen tank and that's gonna sit whereabouts right about there once we finish it at 60 61 don't remember what these are. Instructions just have a number for them, doesn't have a description. The reference guide mentioned it, but I don't remember what it was. And the instructions show that the larger wings go towards the top and that the fingers, or whatever we want to call them, point in this direction. It seems to be sufficient press or tightness to hold it in there without any glue. It's kind of hard to get the fingers in there, so I'd be careful because I think it snapped pretty easily. There we go. Those seem to be in there pretty well. 
And then this piece fits on top of here, but I've actually missed a few steps. So let's back up. Now that we've got 59, Let's take this structure and this ring is 52. This mates up. It's got the two slots, a large one and a small one, correspond to this side of the ring. The other ring only has one large slot. So there's only one way this can go. Let's marry these up. Previously did a test fit of this one. I found it works best to put it into this piece of the third stage. And you need these two notches will match up with, there we go one of these two slots. It depends upon how you want it lined up. Um, so if you match this slot up to the first one, then this slot won't line up, will only line up with this shorter one, won't actually touch it, or this one at it. If you line it up with the second one, sorry if I'm confusing, it will line up with this longer one. But at the same time, the instructions seem to say, line up your J2 engine perpendicular with your window. So if you do that, That will require it to go into that first slot. And it doesn't go any further. So it sits like that. And you can see that your J2 kind of lines up with the front. And it's not going anywhere. So for lack of better reference, we're going to keep it like that. And then these pieces will line up. This open slot will line up with this notch. And then these pieces also line up with these grooves. Pretty good fit. Also, they hold together pretty well without glue. I think the point is to not use glue because during the flight of the rocket, this piece separates from the second stage and then this piece is also supposed to separate from the third stage. So if you actually wanna take it apart and reference how it comes apart during flight, then you wouldn't want to use glue there. Where are we at? There we go. And it holds together pretty well. All right. So next we need to put the top of the hydrogen tank I mean it basically sits there and those two little legs just I don't think they fit into anything they're just in the back kind of hard to see there and this top skirt 
is also keyed. We've got one notch. And we've got one tab here. That keeps everything in place very well. And that would be the third stage.